What if a weapon could strike the heart of Europe before the sirens even finished their cry? What if NATO's air defenses, the Patriots, the IRISTs, the systems promised to shield allies and partners were powerless against a single missile launched from the shadows? Ukraine does not ask, what if? It lives with the answer. And that answer is called Iskander M. The 9K720 Iskander M, known to NATO as the SS-26 Stone, is Russia's premier short-range ballistic missile. First fielded in 2006, it was designed to replace the Soviet OTR-23 OK, a weapon banned under the INF Treaty. But unlike its predecessor, the Iskander M carries modern guidance systems, extreme maneuverability, and a reputation as one of the most feared missiles in Europe today. At over 7 meters long and nearly 4 tons at launch, the Iskander M travels at hypersonic speeds, up to Mach 6 or 7. It can carry a half-ton warhead, ranging from high explosive and cluster munitions to thermobaric payloads. Analysts believe it can also be fitted with a tactical nuclear warhead, estimated at 10 to 50 kilotons. Its official range is listed at 500 kilometers, in line with treaty limits at the time. But Western intelligence suggests some variants may fly further, threatening not just Ukraine, but NATO territory itself. Accuracy is its deadliest trait. With a circular error probable of just 5 to 7 meters, the Iskander M does not need to strike a city block. It can strike the exact building chosen. The missile's danger is not only speed, but behavior. Unlike older ballistic missiles, Iskander M does not follow a predictable arc. It maneuvers during flight, especially in its final seconds, pulling turns at up to 20 to 30 Gs. It deploys decoys to confuse radar and electronic jamming to blind interceptors. Even if tracked, its sudden course changes mean a defending missile often veers off target. Launched from a mobile eight-wheeled transporter erector launcher, the Iskander can fire and then vanish into forests or fields within minutes. Finding it before it launches is almost impossible. Since Russia's full-scale invasion in February 2022, the Iskander M has become a spearhead of long-range strikes. From positions in Belarus, Belgorod, Crimea, and even Kaliningrad, launchers have targeted Ukraine cities and infrastructure. The goal to paralyze command centers, destroy supply hubs, and terrorize civilians far from the front. In practice, the missile often strikes before defenses can react. Patriot batteries supplied by the United States, Iris-T launchers from Germany, and NASAMs provided by Western partners have intercepted some incoming missiles. But many more slipped through, hitting their marks with devastating accuracy. For NATO, every successful strike in Ukraine raised the same unsettling question. If these systems struggle here, how well would they defend Warsaw, Berlin, or even London? Kyiv, Ukraine's capital, has endured repeated Iskander strikes aimed at energy infrastructure and government command centers. During the winter of 2022 and 2023, Blackouts left millions in the dark. Kharkiv, near the Russian border, has been bombarded with Iskander missiles targeting depots and barracks. Its proximity makes it especially vulnerable. The flight time is just minutes. Dnipro suffered one of the most infamous strikes in November 2024, when an Iskander destroyed a residential block, killing dozens. That attack reminded the world that this weapon is not only a battlefield tool, it is also a weapon of terror. Lviv, far in the west near Poland, was struck in 2023 and 2024. These launches proved the missile's extended reach, showing that no corner of Ukraine is truly safe. Odessa, the Black Sea port vital for global grain exports, has been hit multiple times.
Here Iskander strikes combined with Iranian Shahed drones, overwhelming defenses and crippling storage facilities. Zaporizhia, close to Europe's largest nuclear power plant, has been targeted by Iskander salvos, raising global fears of catastrophe if the strikes ever damage the reactors. Each city demonstrates the same truth. Once launched, an Iskander is almost certain to reach something valuable. NATO's reaction has been urgent, but not always effective. The United States deployed Patriot Pass 3 interceptors to Ukraine, capable of engaging ballistic missiles. Germany sent IRIST launchers. Norway and others delivered NASAMS batteries. Radar networks were expanded. Early warning satellites monitored launches. But the speed, altitude changes, and decoys of the Iskander meant that no system could guarantee interception. Western defense industries accelerated projects like the Precision Strike Missile, or PRSM, designed to give NATO its own answer to weapons like Iskander. But for Ukraine, those future systems offer no immediate shield. Yes, some Iskanders were intercepted. Videos show Patriots destroying incoming warheads above Kyiv, but those successes are exceptions. Ukrainian officials admit many missiles still penetrate, striking with lethal precision. The grim lesson is clear. Air defense can reduce the threat, but cannot eliminate it. The Iskander teaches militaries a new reality. Defending with interceptors alone is not enough. To survive, nations must invest in intelligence, surveillance, and reconnaissance drones, satellites, and spies to locate the launchers before they fire. Striking the transporter erector launchers on the ground may be the only reliable way to stop an Iskander attack. Meanwhile, cities must harden critical infrastructure, disperse power grids, and prepare civilians for sudden strikes. For NATO, the Iskander is a wake-up call. The next war may not be won by air defense, but by who can strike first. The victims of these missiles are not just soldiers. Blackouts cripple hospitals. Destroyed ports choke food supplies. Families live in fear of the next siren, knowing it may come too late. Politically, every successful strike pressures NATO governments. Citizens ask, if Ukraine cannot be protected from these weapons, how secure are Europe's cities? The Iskander M is not just a missile, it is a strategic message. Fast, precise, difficult to intercept. Its role in Ukraine has proven what many feared, that modern air defense is not an impenetrable shield, but a fragile net. For NATO, the lesson is harsh. For Ukraine, the lesson is lived daily. And for the world, the question remains. If one short-range missile can defy defenses, what happens when wars escalate further? Because in modern conflict, the most dangerous strike may be the one that arrives before the sirens finish their cry.